Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NC level 1 uh, tables, equations and graphs achievement standard. So in this video I'll be focusing on uh, quadratic patterns. So some of the skills covered will be forming an equation of a quadratic pattern. In my previous videos I've already looked at uh, recognizing a quadratic pattern and linear patterns. If you haven't already, please do check those videos out. So quadratic patterns uh, will have a highest degree of 2 and uh, the first difference will not be a constant. So that will hint you... Uh, that uh, this uh, particular pattern may be a uh, quadratic pattern. So uh, once you have found the first difference, if it is constant, then it was linear. So I've covered that in my previous videos. But if it is not constant, then you move on to and uh, then find the second difference and see if it is a constant. If the second difference is constant, then uh, the uh, pattern that you're looking at is a quadratic pattern. We already know that the general form for um, a quadratic pattern is given by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And uh, so to form the equation, uh, you will need to find the values uh, of a, b, and c. And that will uh, then uh, give you the uh, equation in this form. So we'll have a look at the first example. It says find the equation of the following pattern, uh, 2, 9, 20, 35, and 54. So we'll have a look at uh, some of the steps you will need to uh, follow. So in this case, uh, you will need to find the second difference because um, this is a quadratic pattern. And the trick here is you take half of that second difference you have calculated and that will give you the A value, which will be uh, the coefficient of X squared. So this will be your quadratic term. So uh, let's uh, quickly um, do that. So I've got 2, 9, 20 and so forth. These are the... Uh, uh, patterns and um, you can see that uh, it's going up by 7 then the next one goes up by 11 and then 15 etc so it's not going up by a constant term therefore it is not a linear so we'll find the second difference to see if it is a quadratic so in this case uh, the second difference is constant it um, goes up by 4 each time so from here you can see that the second difference is always plus four now um, once i've got the second difference then if i take half of that value i will get the a value right so let's um, quickly do that so a is given by four which is the uh, common uh, second difference divide by two dividing by two means i'm taking half of it which gives you um, two so the nth term then will start with uh, 2n squared. So that's uh, the first thing we have got from here. Now I've got 2n squared sequence here. So if n is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, so that's 2. If n changes to 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. If n is 3, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. And uh, likewise, you can get 32 here, 4 squared, 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So this is the sequence for uh, 2n squared. And why I've got 2n squared? Because um, um, a value was 2, so 2n squared or 2x squared. So that's the term uh, we have got here. And the sequence for that is 2, 8, 18, 32 and so forth. It's not what we were asked to. So what we need to then look for is uh, the B and C values. So it could have a linear pattern to it. So let's uh, move on to that. So I've got the 2n squared here. Then I'll bring these, uh, then I'll bring the pattern down, the one that we are asked to find the uh, equation for. So we'll um, compare these now. So 2 stayed 2, but 8 became 9. 18 became 20, likewise 32 is 35, and 50 became 54. So you hopefully you can see that um, there is a sequence here. Uh, 2 plus 0 gave you 2, 8 plus 1 is 9, 18 plus 2 is 20. So you can see that it's not going up by a constant amount, but this is a linear pattern which will be part of um, BX and C term over here. So we can use that to find that. So this is a linear sequence and the nth term of this sequence, I've done the videos on uh, how to find the equations of uh, linear pattern. So the nth, um, if you haven't already, please do check that one out. But um, the nth term here is given by N minus one. I'm gonna quickly show you why. So we've got the number zero, one, two, three, four. 
So 0 became 1, so it's going up by 1 all the time. So it is 1 in. And the first term was 0. So from 1, how can I get 0 if I subtract 1? So 1 minus 1 will give you a 0. Like what second one was uh, 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Third one is 2. So 3 minus 1 is 2 and so forth. So this is the general uh, term for this uh, linear sequence. Now we will uh, put these together. So the first one was 2 n squared and the next uh, bit is uh, n minus 1. So I will put these together now. So in the general form we had is ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the quadratic term ax squared. A linear one was bx and then we had a constant which we can see here. So now if I put these um, together my equation will read y is equal to so uh, my equation will read y is equal to 2n squared. I'm using n for the uh, pattern number. I could have used x squared. Really does not matter. So y is equal to 2n squared plus n minus 1. So just put this one with uh, 2n squared. So 2n squared plus n minus 1. I hope this makes sense. Um, uh, what you need to do is uh, find the uh, second difference then uh, just half it, that gives you the uh, a value. So then you write 2n squared, then get the sequence for 2n squared by replacing n by 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Once you've got that, you put that 2n squared term over here and then bring down the uh, pattern that you were asked to find the equation for underneath and then see by how much it is uh, changing. So in this case, it's changing by a linear sequence because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's increasing by 1 each time. So n, so we've got uh, 1n and the first term was 0. So 1 minus 1 will give you 0. So that's why I've got n minus 1. And then we put that together. So 2n squared plus n minus 1 gives you the equation. Hope this makes sense. I'd say that you can pause the video and try this yourself. Uh, that will be more meaningful. In the next video, I'll give you an application of um, this um, pattern. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.